Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but acknowledge Him in all you do, and He will guide your paths. Okay, so what? What are we looking at here? Or trust in the Lord with all your heart. Okay, we all know what our heart does. Our heart pumps blood through our body, keeps us alive. So how can we do anything for him who created us? What is that going to do for him? If we trust in him, and that word trust, we could probably replace with many other words. Trust, of course. Worship. Follow. Praise. Lean not on your own understanding. And what does that mean? Lean not in your own understanding. Well, why did we lean? Leaning against your partner sitting next to you. Lean against the wall when you stop on the way out. Why did we lean? For support. We lean for support. And here the Bible is telling us Lean not on your own understanding, but acknowledge Him in all you do. Okay, Him, who's Him? Capital H-I-M, Him. Acknowledge, acknowledge, talk about, share. Tell others, make him part of your life. Acknowledge him in all you do. You open the door for someone to come in the room. Praise Jesus, thank you, God. Acknowledge him. Whatever you're doing, work, home, play, whatever and he will guide your path. Guide your paths? Well, think about it. You probably prayed a little bit on your way, way here today. He was guiding you. Didn't he bring you here today? And hopefully he'll guide you home. But if you put that all together, I see, maybe many of you see, God has us in his arms. He's got his hands on us. He's guiding us. He's telling us when to make a left, when to make a right, when to stop, when to go. God is in control. I've shared that with many people, and they ask, well, how can you stand being in that wheelchair? Well, because I truly believe that's where God wants me at this time in my life. I've learned to trust in Him, and I am what I what I am, I do what I can do. I trust in Him. I really believe that God has used my situation to help me share Him with many others who can't understand how I can be that open and free-minded 
and clear while I'm sitting in a wheelchair. Well, think about it. Riding a wheelchair, a lot easier than walking around. You don't have to uh, open doors for people. They open them for you. And I thank them for that. In Jesus' name, I thank them. That's so, it has really become a thing with me, praising Jesus because of where I'm at, who I am, what I'm doing, and how he's using me to spread his word. Lean not on our own understanding, but acknowledge him in all you do, and he will guide your trail, guide your path, guide your life, which is what he is in full control of. We need to accept that. We need to make the best of that because God wants the best for us. Whether at first you like it or not, think about it, meditate on it, find where God is in it, and give him the praise and glory that he deserves for where you're at today. May he always bless you, protect you, and guide your paths.